Millions of years ago, Australia separated from Gondwana, and millions of years later, Tasmania separated from Australia. They remained isolated from the rest of the continents, so everything here seems different, unique, and somehow extravagant. There are lots of kangaroos in Tasmania. They've been here for centuries, and they come in all sizes and colors. When I see them, I wish I could jump like the Samburu. The dingo arrived 3,000 years ago. Some animals arrive and others disappear. The arrival of the dingo led to the extinction of the marsupial wolf known as the thylacine. Although the origins of the dingoes are not entirely clear, it's believed that these dogs descended from the Asian wolf. Like their wolf ancestors, dingoes hunt in packs. Still, people blamed the wolves for their lost animals. If we found a dead sheep, they would say, we would blame a thylacine. In a country full of sheep, settlers vented their anger on the marsupial wolves, while the actual culprits got off scot-free. Though dingoes usually hunt in groups, there are also solitary individuals like this one. He seems to have picked up a trail. These canines aren't picky. They'll go after sheep, kangaroos, wombats or lizards. With the marsupial wolf out of the way, the dingo is now the most feared carnivore in Tasmania, able to attack even large kangaroos. They don't bark very much, but they wag their tails when they're happy. This animal is in high spirits. Dingoes don't really need to hunt. They're perfectly happy eating carrion. Now the thylacines are extinct, and the dingoes are a problem for the sheep. The last wolf died here in 1936. The settlers and the dingoes were too much for them. The government declared the thylacine a protected species on that very same day, but it was too late. There wasn't a single marsupial wolf left alive. Once in a while, someone claims to have seen one, but they never say exactly where. <laughs>